solved with explosives. And speaking of explosives... Do you think she had the right idea, Captain? Did she give up? Or did she move on? All a matter of perspective, I suppose. <laughs> Come on, Slowpoke. Excited, Captain. I know how your speeches can get people riled up. <laughs> Captain, why does it seem familiar? And so our intrepid captain falls headlong into the spiraling chaos of dimensional calamity, heralding the beginning of the end. My goodness, what an adventure. I swear, this story never ceases to amaze me. By the way, it's good to see you again. Or for the first time, depending on your past choices. Either way, I'm sure we'll meet again for the first time in the very near future and or somewhat distant past. Should this not prove to be the end of all reality, which it almost certainly is, it would be my great pleasure to guide you through my own universe, should the opportunity arise. Which doesn't seem likely to happen at this juncture, but when thinking in infinites, unlikely is just certainty waiting for its turn. What's wrong, sport? Oh, bless my stars. Was it the nightmare about the spaceship again? <laughs> that one just keeps coming back, doesn't it? Well, I know just the thing that's gonna cure that. Another story! All right, well, let's see what we got here. Uh, maybe a little too grizzly. Uh, read that one too many times. Nah, not in the mood. Uh, not today. Why don't you decide, huh? You could read uh, a nice romance story, that'd be fun, or uh, a horror story. I know how much you love scary stories, but it might give you a few more nightmares, so you could go romance. It'll be a little silly and more than a little sappy, but it might be just the thing to kick you right back to sleep. Well, whatever you choose, I can guarantee it's gonna come with a big ol' hug, free of charge. <laughs> Oh, right. I was hoping you'd pick that one. 
wants to read a dumb romance that's just gonna remind you about all of your inadequacies and mistakes and how if you just tried a little harder then maybe you would actually deserve to be loved! <laughs> Good riddance. <laughs> oh, there are pictures. Right. <clears throat> Reader beware. There is something standing directly behind you. I've seen many, many crimes in my time. I'll never get used to this. <sighs> no one ever said this job would be fun, rookie. But we gotta face it. No matter how grisly, no matter how horrible... <laughs> We gotta solve this case. And we gotta do it by the books. So quiz time, Rook. What's our first step? Please! Oh, please don't do this! I have kids! I have many, many kids! And almost all of them need me! <laughs> oh, it never gets any easier. But that's what makes it so fun. Every time is a new experience. Always grisly, always horrible. <gasps> oh, what, what, oh man, what are you gonna do to me? Oh, I can imagine so many different things you could potentially do to me. <laughs> As could I. As could I. <gasps> but it's your first kill. And I don't want to be greedy. So <gasps> why don't you take a stab at it? Huh? <laughs> oh, take care of our many, many children. There, there. You're gonna be all right. Damn it. The cops. Many, many cops. Will you follow? You in the adjacent room. We have you completely surrounded. Release your many, many hostages and come out with your hands up. Very, very important. <laughs> Put down the gun. For the horse. He's the dining room. All the evidence in the to Put it in the... How many times do I gotta tell you to stay out of my kitchen? You need to keep your knife clean. You never know when you're going to need it. <laughs> hey, watch it! We wouldn't want to have an accident now, would we? Thank you, darling. You sure is pretty. Anytime, sugar. <laughs> Would you look at that? Seems like just this morning there was a stabbing! Oh, 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 sorry. Old habits. Oh, please be careful. That is my real hand. Or is it? Yeah, okay, all right, okay, it is. Oh, please come have it. Thank you. Ooh, strong grip, Captain. Just like I remember. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, it's good to see you. I guess I, uh, I guess I owe you an apology. I was wrong. I was wrong about a lot of things. I gave up hope in you and all of this. Yeah, 
if I hadn't gone back, or if I hadn't tried to stab you, I... Oops! Dropped my knife! Sorry about that! Eh? No, 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 no. I'm, uh... I'm tired, Captain. I'm very tired. I've been trying for so long to fix things. I don't think I fixed anything at all, actually. Worse yet. I think I'm the one that caused all of this. How are you all enjoying your dinner? Is there anything I can do to... make it better? For what it's worth, you were an excellent captain. You never gave up on your crew. Not even once. I wish I could have done the same for you. It all seems so crazy now. Maybe if I had gone back to the right time. <laughs> Maybe if I hadn't sabotaged this ship. Maybe if I didn't go back in the first place, I could. If I didn't go back. If I didn't go back! Captain! If I didn't go back! Oh, oh, there's something you have to tell me. Well, not me right now. The other me, the younger me. You have to find me and... Yeah! Who's gonna pay for this, hmm? Captain! Captain! Tell me not to use the warp core! And tell me I can't go back! Bonjour. Look here. Bonjour. Raise your arms. Clear. Bonjour. Have a nice day. Bonjour. 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 Sir, we've got every single possible agent on this already. There's no way we can add more. I don't want excuses. I want results. Get <laughs> too old for this shit. Well, I'll be damned. They actually managed to pull you out of retirement. Then again, if anyone would have wanted to catch this snake. It would be you. Just don't make this personal. <laughs> now I bet you're wondering how he managed to escape from prison, huh? Yeah, you and me both, pal. Pull it up on the main screen. <laughs> Mark E. Plyer. Hey, you never thought you'd have to see his ugly mug again. A few hours ago, this maniac somehow managed to break out of the most secure prison the world had ever seen. Next slide, please. <laughs> Somehow, the entire eastern block of the building vanished into thin air in an instant. Either Mr. E. Plyer's learned some magic, or he has some crazy tech up his sleeve to the likes of which we've never seen. It's almost as if he has a, a goddamn wormhole in his pocket. And we know he's still alive because he's used this same crazy tech to hit three museums already. We don't know where he is. We don't know where he's gonna be. We don't even know what kind of firepower we're up against. Oh. Can I get a coffee? Yeah, no problem. We don't know. But I think you do. I can already see a plan cooking up in that big, beautiful brain of yours. That's why I respect you so goddamn much. So what is it? What's the plan? How are we gonna catch this heinous criminal?
So let me get this straight. You believe that Mark E. Plyer, notorious international criminal, has somehow managed to infiltrate the very organization whose sole purpose is to track him down. Is that what you believe? You <laughs> You really are as good as they say. But even your incredible skills are a little off the mark. <laughs> no, it can't be. That's impossible! Sorry to disappoint you, sir. Agent Smiles, you are like a brother to me! Oh, it's not Agent Smiles. It's Wubba. And this was all part of a clever ruse to get me right here, right to this moment. With you. Not so fast, Wubba. If that is your real name, which mine isn't. No, 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 that can't be. That's impossible. The name's Wubba. Wubba. That's right. It was me all along. Double. Undercover. No, no. That, that literally can't be. You're me. Isn't it obvious? It's simple for you. I... Well... Oh. The wormhole and everyone survives. The universe survives. We can all win. You just have to shut it down, please. Hey, Captain. What are they talking about? And why do they have the same cool bracelet that you do? No. No, that's impossible. I just took this from you. No, 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 no. That's impossible. That is a paradox. What did you do? What did you do?
I'm sorry I didn't think anyone was still here. Thought everyone was lost. Trying to um stem the tides. Wait. Oh my god. You're here. You. You you. We have been looking everywhere for you, for your ship. And it was even it, it was gone. In every universe. Lost. So how are you here? How? This. This thing? This? You used that, didn't you? Who gave it to you? And also, um, give it to me. I need it. Please. Uh, or I will shoot. Look, if you just... If you give it to me, I swear, I promise, I can fix everything. Potential paradox detected. Uh, I am, I am begging you. Please avoid. We can still fix this. Look, I, I, Safety I, limit exceeded. I this is intentional. No, Initiating no, emergency no, 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 plan to hide from he who behind a berry bush seemed to be going well at first <laughs> however the captain bizarrely started gesturing up towards the sky in a very unstealthy manner if the captain wished to succeed they would do well to be polite to any higher dimensional being that might happen to be watching otherwise unfortunate things such as a spotlight might appear at a very inconvenient time 
Well, it seems to be the end for our intrepid captain. <laughs> Truly unfortunate. You hate to see it. Oh, no, no. I don't think a convenient escape is a very fitting end for this story. Hold on. There we go. The ominous glow in the captain's hand subsides to a normal level and does not whisk the captain away from this deathly encounter. What? That's not... Hold on! Ahem! The ominous glow subsides and returns to normal. I said the ominous glow! There he is. This is a surprise. Greetings. You may be wondering where you are and how you got here. Me too. But, as no choice is a coincidence, I believe this gives us an opportunity to chat. My name is Dr. Cecil H.H. H. Mills, known author of adult intellectual literature. Thank you. I'm also responsible for writing one other thing. Is that why you came? Are you here to be served an ad for Ghost Hunters Adventure Club and The Secret of the Grand Chateau, my young adult mystery novel? No. Fine. Listen, I have copious amounts of gambling debt. I need money, so I take whatever job I can get. In this case, it's a side gig as a narrator for this project while I wait for my young adult mystery novel for children to take off. Buy my book! But, back to the matter at hand. You see, I'm a very private person. I don't like to receive visitors unless they have my express written consent. So this begs the question, how did you get here? No matter. Easy fix. Yes. With a sucking whoosh and a burst of blue light, the captain is whisked away. What are you doing? No, give that back. Don't look at it. That's not for your eyes. What? What are you doing? Stop! You return that to me, you cretin. If I am the count of three, I want it back. One, two, three. All right, so you've called my bluff. Oh, no, it's fine. Write whatever you want. It's infinite power, that's all. No big deal. Oh, thank you. What? No. No, you can't do this. You can't be so ambiguous. You have to be more specific. Do you have any idea what could happen Mary now? Is visibly concerned, and for good reason. You stupid, stupid fool. Fabric of Do you have any idea what you've done? Actions, actions have consequences. A lot of handsome men in this room. There's not enough air for all of us! Give it back! Give it back! Captain? Captain? 
you're not here. You, you, you've never woken up here before. You were always gone. I tried. I, I tried to keep alive, Captain. And I go, and I come back. There's still problems, and I go, and I come back, and I go, and I come back, and I always come back! But this time... This time... Captain, what's in your hand? Where did you get that crystal? You didn't shut it down, did you? Was she right about you? We trusted you! I trusted you, Captain! Captain! responsible for what's going on. I don't have anything to do with that. Come on. You're the most notorious wormhole bandit in the galaxy. You gave them this, yes? Then you can tell me where they are. Even if I did have anything to do with that, I didn't bring you off, so you can't even do anything about it. In fact, I think... Do you understand what is going on out there? Do you understand what's at stake? People are dying because of this. So there is nothing, and I'm nothing that I won't do to save the universe. So tell me where they are. And I'm nothing that I won't do to save the universe. I don't know what they're gonna do. This is so broken. Even if I could tell you where it was, there's no guarantee you show up at the right time. has returned. It might it be possible that said criminal mastermind may perhaps be ready to confess their heinous crimes? What cause did you have to destroy the entire multiverse? When did you obtain such a reckless disregard for human and unhuman life? Why did you feel the need to end the existence of all that exists? 
most importantly of all, which one of us is the real Jim? Jim, 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 Internet. Welcome to Space Theory, the show where the only thing more infinite than the universe is Mark's ego. It was bad enough that he named the show after himself, but now just look at the number of characters that he plays in this thing. Just couldn't let anyone else share the spotlight there, eh, Markiplier? Or should I say... Dad applier. Maybe I should say Stan the Waterman. Don't think that we didn't notice the fanny pack there, bro. You ain't gonna slip through lore details like that on our watch. But enough about YouTube celebrities and their massive egos. We're here today to talk about one thing and one thing only. Space. So let's start off with a relatively simple subject, shall we? Wormholes, magical transportation tubes, deus ex machina, or is it simply a convenient plot device for lazy, egomaniacal writers to transition from one scene to another without having to worry about their established continuity? Or I, I no, oh, oh no, here we go again. Oh boy, I'm feeling a little nauseous. Oh boy, but hey, that's just a bending of time and space. Space was so cool, so cool, but it won't even live in a memory universe unspooled, so cool to be leaving with only a melody. So pretty, what a pity There were billions and billions of stories And infinite, infinite stars We did our best to hold it together But now the seams are all pulling apart So cool, so cool, but it won't even live in a memory. If there was a way that I could change All that's been wrecked Rewrite the regrets Let's leave no stone unturned Let's stay bright till we're burned
Captain? I was hoping you'd be back. It's gone real dark out there. I imagine that this is probably the end. Don't worry about not stopping me soon. I'm starting to realize that even though we have infinite choices, every single second of our lives, there's only a handful that really, really matter. You know, what's funny? I don't know why, but I'm, uh, I'm happy. <laughs> I don't know any other way to explain it. Content with everything. Being this close to an end, finally an end. And seeing you again, just, I don't know. It's good. It's good. For a while there, I, uh, I felt like I was right back there again. Living every single life again and again. Never stopping. Always moving forward. And... But now, it's calm. It's calm. Everything has to end, Captain. It has to. It doesn't matter how tightly you hold on to things, they'll still just slip right through your fingers. You'll always make mistakes. You have to. And that's okay. I just wish I learned that sooner. It's worth. I'm glad I got to share this adventure with you. The captain pauses for a moment taking in the emptiness of the once bustling diner. Pondering the lives of all those who must have passed through this place. It's hard to imagine it was ever full to begin with. But it was once, and that's what matters. Just like old times, eh, Captain? Captain. Captain. You. And the only person You're that I trust more than myself I can't give up. How could the captain do this? That's not me, Captain. That's not me. There has to be a way. I just need more time. We trust you. One more time. Hi, Captain. I couldn't afford to let you make another mistake. Funny thing to say after an eternity of nothing but second chances. Don't. You don't have to keep trying anymore. There's no time anywhere. Another thing I never thought I'd say again. But I'm gonna fix the damage you caused. I had a long time to spend rebuilding this machine you broke. A long time over too many lives. But I know now that this thing does more than just make wormholes. Distance and time are the same thing from different perspectives. That's all these universes are, just different points of view. And this machine didn't just bridge a tunnel through our universe. It was bridging all of them. And you destroyed it. I can't undo what you've done. Not here anyway. Or at least, not now. But if I could go back, if I could try again, if I could stop you before any of this even started, maybe I could save everyone. 
things and it's gone I spent an eternity in hell rebuilding this stupid machine and you threw it all away I don't know if you're evil or just stupid but if I'm not back there to fix it if I'm not back there if I'm not back then the whole core is not back I thought I rebuilt it because you destroyed it. I built the warp core. I sent it back. I built it. I built it. It was my fault. <laughs> Um, Captain, I'm tired. I don't know when the last time I slept was. I don't know if I've slept at all. Have you? I'm really sorry. Yes. I thought the only way to stop this was to stop you. Stop all of this from happening in the first place. But it was me. It was me. All those mistakes, all those lifetimes, all the people. I guess I lost hope. But you didn't. Initializing Wakey Wakey Protocol. Current ship status is nominal. Morning, Captain. Ooh, you look like you've been through hell. Yeah, cryo sleep sucks, buddy. Coffee can help. Morning, Cap. I'll be heading down with the advance team. If there's any horrible aliens down there, I'll take care of them. Not everything can be solved with explosions. Uh, 
Not in my experience. I'll see you on the ground, Cap. You and Mark are one in the same. Captain, all colonists are safe, healthy, and accounted for, but I'll keep my eye on them as they wake up. Thank you for getting us here safe. Captain, you are a child of the universe. No less than a tree or a star. You deserve to be here. And whether or not it's clear to you, no doubt, the universe is playing out as it should. Captain. Please report to your assigned drop pods. Machines better type thing up, please. Place on the side. Computer, let's get those blast shields open. The trip was smooth. Just a few rocks, a couple cosmic rays. Nothing the computer couldn't handle on its own. Acknowledged. All systems are fully operational. All crew accounted for. Disembarkation underway. She is a beauty, isn't she, Captain? The long-range scans did not do her justice. Perfect in almost every way. We'll still have to do top-to-bottom scans once we're down on the surface, but we're moving equipment as fast as we can. The crew is eager to get off the ship and onto solid ground. I think you can understand the sentiment. And uh, thank you. For uh, not giving up on me. Just thank you. Stuck by my side always through and through It's you and me 